Repair Clinic encourages you to perform this procedure safely. In this video, we will show one or more of these icons to alert you when to use caution. Before you replace the tying drive shaft on your tiller, make sure the engine has cooled and the on-off switch is in the off position. We recommend performing this procedure with little or no fuel in the tank. Now tip the tiller forward so it rests on the fuel tank and tine guard. Note the orientation of the tines. Then remove the retaining pins and pull off both tine assemblies. Next, use an adjustable wrench to rotate the old tine drive shaft counterclockwise to unthread it. You can use a hammer to help fully remove the drive shaft. Install the new tine drive shaft by threading it clockwise into the left side of the transmission housing. Align the worm gear bearing on the shaft and fully seat it in the housing. The bearing should be recessed approximately a quarter inch. Replace the seal. Align the retainer and fully seat it. To confirm that there is sufficient grease in the transmission housing, use a Phillips head screwdriver to unthread the screws securing the cover. Then pull the cover off. Add additional grease if necessary. Confirm that the gasket is in place. Then realign the cover and secure it with the screws. Properly align each tine assembly on the new tine drive shaft. And secure them with the retaining pins. With the repair completed, return the tiller to its upright position.